In 2004, Sorry, AB mate. de Villiers made his test debut at this very ground. Over 100 test matches and over 8,000 test runs later, and he is regarded as one of the world's best batsmen. In the midst of his 41st test series, our expert commentary panel unpacks the 34-year-old's famed technique. That's a, a really good shot from Abe de Villiers. It's beautifully played. He is an extraordinary talent. He really is. A superb player, Abe de Villiers. Abe de Villiers is someone who plays, I think, as we all know, on a completely different planet to most. But Abe de Villiers, he, he pretends in his own mind that he's batting inside a cardboard box. So he doesn't worry too much about his feet. He doesn't get big strides in, doesn't get well back and across. He's just in a, in a, in a good-sized cardboard box and makes sure that everything is under his eyes and his, and his hands are in the right place and everything's nice and tight, but relies on his balance, relies on his head position, uh, and then relies importantly on his hands. If you play under your eyes, you, firstly you give yourself enough time. You don't uh, get ahead of yourself and start pushing at things that are not there to be hit. Um, so I think that is his main aim with playing in the box. That's nasty play. He calls for two, but he's going to get four right off the middle of the bat from De Villiers. What I appreciate about him, obviously everyone knows his power and his ability to change the game. But technically he's, he's really smart, you know, and he reads the game well. He'll, you can see often he'll be, you know, getting into tight positions, working hard, and then he'll change his style a little bit and, and open up. Oh, shot! What a shot! You could suggest this is taking the mickey. I think it's difficult to get him out, and I think it's even more difficult to contain him because uh, he scores all around the ground. He's very good at, uh, at at manipulating the areas in which he wants to score. He really puts the bowlers under pressure because he's very aggressive. Uh, he's very quick on his feet as well. So uh, I think for him, uh, the key is if he bats for a long time, the scoring rate just climbs, and he takes the game away from the opposition. And the goes flat and hard. That is a street smart hundred for an AB De Villiers. AB De Villiers is like a ballroom dancer. The footwork is immaculate. So he just gets into line and hits anything out of sight that needs to be hit. He uses his feet again. That is a gorgeous shot. He's got that ability to, to, to put the bowlers under pressure. You know, they, they're thinking, oh, I'm bowling to AB De Villiers, and you sort of bowl more bad balls than you probably would normally bowl to a guy that's just holding himself back a little bit, and that puts you under immense pressure as a bowler. He can play 360 degrees. Uh, no captain feels safe uh, with a field placing. No bowler, you know, feels that you know he can pin him down at all. Yes, at the test level, maybe he might be just a little bit watchful, but in a limited overs format, um, you know, he just goes for it from from the word go. That signaled his intentions right from ball one. Because of the fact that he's expanded the entire range of shots, he's brought in some new shots as well, like the reverse sweep, the switch hit. Uh, that's that's what uh, he, his, his major contribution to cricket has been. Good shot, beautiful shot, nice and straight, mid-off for straight as well, but he's uh, played that superbly. I just love the way he plays. I love the positions he gets into, his foot movement uh, it ends up being nice and still, his hands get into a really good position, and then he plays nice and straight down the line. Um, you know, cricket and why people score runs, the application, um, their concentration, the hand-eye coordination, all those things you can't really explain. But uh, if you've got a decent technique, you give yourself the best chance. I think his technique's pretty good. There's uh, certain batsmen around the world that look superb. Sachin Tendulkar, Brian Lara, Virat Kohli, and A.B. Deville is one of them. 22 hundreds for him. He's sixth against Australia, and certainly the one yesterday was a masterclass for A.B. Deville. Kepler Vessel's still alongside me, Kepler. And would you say he's more of a, a test cricketer or a one-day cricketer, or, or you, it's hard to work out? 
I think Test cricket, one day cricket, maybe T20, all those done well in IPLs and that, but internationally, yeah. perhaps that's uh, the weakest of his disciplines. Not weak, but the weaker of the three. Yes, yeah, sure. But uh, certainly brilliant in Test matches, brilliant in one day internationals. What do you love about his technique? Is it the way that he adapts against the quicks and the spin bowls? Yeah, it's had a few changes over the years, but what he does uh, at the moment, he sits very deep in the crease. But I think we, he's, he's very, very good. He's very still at the point of delivery. His head is dead still. His weight distribution is really good, and he pl plays equally well off front and back foot. If you had to speak to certain kids that, that want to follow a technique, would that be one of them? A lot of people ask us about Stephen Smith and his technique. What, what would you say to them? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty tough to follow Abit Villiers because he's so gifted. I mean, not many players are as gifted as that. So if you do it exactly like him, I guess you can't go far wrong. Perhaps f just from a, a normal player, if you like, technique, uh, you probably can't sit quite as deep in the crease as he does. But uh, as I said, everything he does is just so good that, that if you can emulate that and you've got enough talent to emulate it, it will work for you as well. Where's the strength? The quicks or the spinners? Yeah, I think he was an opening batsman when he first started playing. Yeah. So he plays the quicks and the medium paces really well. There's no apparent weakness against spin. Plays that well too. But I think uh, he's very, very good against the quicks. All right, good on you, mate. Thanks for your thoughts. Get up in commentary. We're going to go to a break on the other side. We'll come back with live play. That second session of play in the second test match. So alive.